Today we are talking about something I, I'm really passionate about, of course, food. If you've been following me, you already know that uh, we've been coming to Milos for nine years now. And uh, this uh, summer we are spending the entire season here. So naturally we have eaten pretty much everywhere on Milos. In this video I'm going to share some of my absolute favorite uh, restaurants uh, on the island that I can highly recommend to you. So whether you are visiting Milos for the first time or you are visiting uh, every year, I will show you some recommendations, some new spots uh, that uh, we like to go to. And if you love discovering Greek cuisine, make sure to check out my other food videos from Santorini, Crete, uh, Corfu and Milos, of course. I will link uh, them in the description box uh, below. Alright, let's uh, get uh, started. We will start from Polonia, from village uh, Polonia. It's uh, one of my favorite places to dine on the island. There's a great mix of uh, casual, uh, beachside spots and slightly more refined uh, restaurants. This is restaurant uh, area in Polonia, just by the beach. A lot of nice restaurants, some places to go. I actually recommend them all. All the restaurants with the view. Wait for it. Amazing. Start from the first one, from Marvone de Milos. It's a new restaurant this season. It's uh, all about fine dining with a view. Uh, their seafood is great and I love that they focus on fresh uh, local ingredients. It's uh, perfect for a special night out. Remember to ask for a table at the beach. The next one, Hanabi. It is a spot uh, if you are craving something a little different. Japanese Mediterranean fusion. Yes, you heard it right. Sushi in Milos with a unique twist that uh, incorporates uh, Greek uh, flavors. Uh, the setting is beautiful too with views over the harbor uh, in Polonia. The next one, Yalos. Yalos is a favorite uh, along locals and tourists alike and it's easy to see why. Uh, this place serves up some of the best seafood right by the water. Uh, grab the seed and enjoy the sunset uh, while you dig into a plate of fresh fish or calamari. Akrotiri. Akrotiri offers an excellent selection of traditional Greek dishes and it's uh, another one with beautiful views uh, of the bay. It's perfect if you want to enjoy a relaxed uh, lunch or dinner with a breeze and they also have tables on the beach. Nama. It's a new restaurant. It used to be my favorite uh, ice cream and pastry shop there. And now they opened uh, a new restaurant. I was skeptical at first, but it is actually a great, great spot. Good quality dishes for a good price. They offer fresh, uh, creative Greek dishes with a modern twist. Everything is uh, beautifully uh, presented and the quality is uh, consistently amazing. Make sure you get a table on the beach. The next one, Enalion. It's uh, perfect for seafood lovers. I recommend uh, the seafood uh, pasta. It's uh, flavorful and uh, the portions are generous. If you love uh, fresh uh, ingredients and a uh, laid back uh, atmosphere, uh, this is uh, your place. I have to mention a breakfast place, Deck, is one of the best spots for breakfast in Polonia, offering a range of fresh, high quality dishes. I personally love scrambled eggs with tomatoes, the Greek style from them. And of course you can get pastries and coffee, it's a perfect place to start your day. The sea view adds a relaxed, welcoming vibe. Kivotos Ton Gefseon, very difficult thing to pronounce. It is a place known for its homemade pastries, spice and sweets. They have a beautiful garden where you can sit and relax, literally. 
and uh, it's an ideal place to enjoy your coffee and pastry. And don't forget to buy local sweets and uh, other homemade uh, specialties to take with you home. Breeze restaurant is our discovery this year. It's an interesting alternative for dinner and it's particularly recommended for its uh, stunning sunset views. Uh, the restaurant focuses on a refined dining experience blending Greek and Mediterranean flavors with uh, local touches. It's uh, the perfect spot for a memorable dinner after a day of uh, exploring Milos. And now let's go to Adamas. Adamas is the main port uh, town, so there are plenty of restaurants uh, to choose from. But I'm going to share just a few of my fa absolute favorites. Micros Apo Plus is uh, a cozy seafood uh, spot right by the water. Uh, the shrimp and calamari are fantastic and uh, they have, uh, you can see the boats in the harbor, so uh, it adds uh, to the experience. It's a perfect place to enjoy fresh uh, seafood uh, with a relaxing uh, atmosphere. Nostos, for something a bit uh, more upscale, Nostos is a great uh, choice. They specialize in modern Mediterranean uh, cuisine uh, with a focus on local fresh ingredients again of course. The presentation is beautiful and the flavors are always uh, on point. We usually order lobster there and uh, it's always a feast, a real treat if you are looking uh, to indulge. And Ohamos. Ohamos is a must visit, but be prepared to queue. This summer the wait has been over 90 minutes, but don't worry, you will be sitting on sunbeds uh, at the beach with a glass of wine, so it's not too bad really. Everything uh, they serve comes directly from the family's uh, farm. Uh, cheese, uh, vegetables and meats. The setting is drastic and charming really charming right by the beach and the food is full of flavor the signature dish is called uh, pasta but uh, i highly recommend uh, trying the goat or lamb they are some of uh, the best uh, that you can find on the island it's a bit out of adamas actually so you will need to drive or take a walk but trust me it's worth the trip Plaka. Uh, Arhontula. Arhontula offers uh, traditional Greek food with a focus on local uh, favorites like uh, Milos lamb, fried calamari and zucchini, but to be honest everything is good there. The setting is charming and uh, with outdoor seating um, along the narrow streets of Plaka. It's a great spot for a relaxed uh, meal. We always go there for lunch when we are in Plaka. Avi. Avi is known uh, for its uh, cozy courtyard and uh, great quick uh, dishes. Last time we had a lamb there. The menu focuses on local flavors and the atmosphere makes it uh, perfect for a, a traditional Greek uh, dinner. And I would like to mention Cafe Palaois. Uh, up the hill, it's a lovely spot for coffee or desserts. They homemade uh, baklava and uh, local specialties are a must try, and you can enjoy them in the beautiful garden. My favorite from them is orange pie. They also have local Milo streets like Ladenia or watermelon pie, and it's uh, worth trying. Klima. In this tiny picturesque village of Klima, there is one place that uh, stands out and uh, it is Astaka's uh, restaurant. It's right on the beach and uh, the view is uh, simply uh, unbeatable. It's perfect for a romantic dinner or a long uh, lazy lunch. Uh, the seafood is always uh, fresh uh, and the setting is uh, pure magic, especially uh, during sunset. Mandrakia. If you are exploring the beaches uh, around uh, Mandrakia, uh, stop here for a meal mm, at Medusa Festival. Medusa is an iconic spot in Milos, known for its uh, sun-dried uh, octopus. 
but I might be controversial here. Personally, I think you go to Medusa more for the view than for the food. Mandrakia is such a beautiful spot and uh, location is uh, of this restaurant right by the sea. It's truly spectacular. And like uh, Ohamos, it gets pretty busy during lunchtime in high season. So we prepared for a queue. But honestly, the views make it worth the, the wait. Let me know in the comment section if you ever visited uh, this place and what is your opinion. Other gems. Finally, there are a couple of other uh, standout uh, restaurants uh, I want to mention. Sivoko is a truly unique dining experience located on the beach at uh, Palahori in the southern part of Milos. Uh, what uh, sets this restaurant uh, apart is uh, the distinctive cooking method using the natural volcanic sand to cook dishes. They bury the food in sand pits heated by the geothermal uh, energy of the beach, which gives the dishes a um, subtle smoky flavor you won't find uh, anywhere else. And I have to confess that this year was my first time visiting uh, there and uh, it uh, instantly became one of my top restaurants uh, on the island. The food was absolutely delicious and uh, the presentation was just uh, beautiful. If you are looking for a dining uh, experience that's uh, so memorable, I can highly recommend uh, this uh, restaurant to visit. Alevro Milos is located uh, a bit uh, inland, but it is absolutely worth uh, the short trip. This uh, family-run restaurant is known for its uh, high-quality traditional Greek uh, dishes prepared with local ingredients. Uh, all my top uh, restaurant uh, picks in Milos. I hope this uh, video helps you to decide uh, which restaurant to choose. Let me know in the comment section if you've been to any of this restaurant and what other recommendations uh, do you have for me. So I will check them out. And uh, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to the channel and to watch my other videos, food-related videos from Greece, from Corfu, Santorini, Crete and other places. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.